Can you see me, Maria? I can see you. Okay. So how are you doing this evening? I'm okay. Seriously, though, for you to say the things that you've been saying about me that I just got even just a little clip of what you just said about me is messed up. Uh, the okay. only okay. reason I'm coming on here is to clear everything up. Okay, go ahead. You have to understand that you're a blogger and you have 10,000 people who don't know me and you're spreading rumors about people you don't know. I never in my life have harassed anybody or made anybody go into committing suicide. If you would have taken the time to message me, to ask me anything, you didn't ask me anything at all. You just don't do that to people. You just can't, you don't know somebody and you automatically say, she's brought somebody to suicide. Have you ever thought that the person that's telling you that has mental problems and is making things up? Have you ever heard of people making things up that aren't real, that aren't happening? I have, but this is not, okay, let me explain. Do that. you know you can make the situation worse by doing what you're doing? Because I have um, people messaging me that follow you or that are, that are now cursing me out and saying stupid things who, that no, the normal person would not message somebody they don't know but, and just curse them out okay. on Instagram right. on hold, a messenger. On. Relax. Relax for a second. So you're saying that you guys didn't post, repost a video of this girl having a seizure? Absolutely not. I was the only person who called 911 without knowing her full name, without knowing that what state she was in. I gave them her screen name, and the 911 operator was looking at it and telling me that, unfortunately, they can't trace um, Instagram to get help. Nobody, nobody that saw that video would do that. Every single person that saw that video are mothers. Okay, we would never post somebody having a seizure and making fun of her. Let me tell you something. So we were one that? of four. Huh? So who did that? The same Amanda. So Amanda the same person who has herself having a seizure tagged everybody and made fun of herself. Okay, let me let me explain this to you. There was four of us in a group chat. We met because of 90 Day Fiance. We were the only four people that were getting messages, only four people that were getting messages from these same fake accounts. How nobody knew we were in a group chat except the four women. Okay, so why is this supposed stranger harassing, um, sending us messages saying, um, that Amanda's crazy, Amanda's, um, hope she dies from having a seizure, hope she falls on top of her child and kills him? Who, who in their right mind would even write something like that? Then we started talking amongst ourselves without her, saying these messages were coming to us at 2 or 3 in the morning. The, that's the only time Amanda was ever up. We were sleeping because we work. Okay? So finally, I was beyond myself trying to find out who this fake profile was, who would even dare post somebody having a seizure. And, and laugh about it. No, we couldn't figure it out. Nobody. And then she started messaging, messaging, and everything was, um, we were trying to work, you know, trying to figure out what was going on. And then I told her that I had started talking to somebody she told me not to talk to. And um, that the messages got even crazier. The more she messaged, the more it looked exactly like a writing. And we did nothing to her. We said to her, we said to each other, this woman has big time problems. We have to block her. So why, we don't need this shit. Okay, if, if you realize that she had problems, why didn't you block her from the very beginning? Why did you keep com communicating with her? We weren't, we didn't realize she had these problems until the uh, four people who were in that group chat started getting messages from the same, um, the same profile, a fake profile. Why only the four people in that group are getting messages? Why not somebody else? And why did these messages start? Because she she's, has the type of person that needs somebody to say, poor Amanda, oh my God, are you okay? Are, is everything okay? 
just like that mouth, that syndrome where the, the kids, the mother hurts their kids. I don't even know what the name of it is. They have to, they, that's the type of person she is. We talked amongst ourselves and said, we're not taking this chance. We're not going to be mean to her because she's got some, something going on in her mind, but we're going to block her. So what, what about we this did long, long drawn out message saying that I'm sorry that you're a terrible mother. I'm sorry that you have mental issues. I'm sorry. If she said, okay, if she sent you that message, I'm going to tell you now, if she sent you that message, that message was sent to a fake account called you know, Elwood you know 62. Well, how do you know that was from her? You're talking to Amanda. It's extremely I, I'm not, obvious. I'm, look, look, let me tell you okay? something, Maria. Let Don't play these something. games with me because you're too old to play this game. I'm too fucking old to play this game. I, I I've been but, harassed for months, and now they're hooking on to you, and you're no, not no, realizing no, look, it. You need, you need to slow down because... Amanda is not the only person that's reached out to me. There's more people. There's probably about, yeah. I would probably say about 25, 30 people. 25 fake accounts. Look at Casa Tiburon. Hi, Sandy. See what I mean? I, I, it's I two can't or see them because there's it's, something wrong with the chat, so I don't know. Okay, there's two or three, there's three or four people. And it's all the same people. Everybody is the same person. So you're, you're I mean, we got we got Sandy, we got Amanda, we got Mofongo. They have a lot of accounts. <sighs> Listen to me. That same, you know, the same person I sent that message to that I said, um, you're, um, I'm sorry you had the mental problem. Glad I blocked you and all this thing. When she was kept harassing me, I said that to her after I got doxxed. She sent me pictures of my house pictures of my address, pictures of my employment. And she said, um, I go, how the hell did you get my house? Oh, I, um, I know you moved and I got it through your voter registration. Do you think that's right? No, Do you look, think I, that I, they should have called I, I my I job? Know, look, I don't know the circumstances. Personally, I don't think by posting okay, so information it, like that is right unless, unless you get attacked first. I mean, if you get attacked first, it's fair game. Okay, I didn't attack you. And you came after me full-blown. Actually, no. I did. What did I tell I you? Didn't... What did I tell you first? I saw you spamming in a freaking YouTube chat with your actual... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, I did that. Exactly. Yeah. And when did I do that? When and did I do that? Why? After you I started posting my pic... After you started posting no, my negative. picture and making no, memes... No, 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 no. I didn't. No, that wasn't. You you got the timeline wrong. Guy, look, I, I can take a picture of the screenshot where I look. I can take a picture of the screenshot where you called me the c word, and then I can take a picture of every single message I left on Sherelle's, and it's after you called me that. That's not correct because you you started. I had no that. reason. When I no, when I, I, arrived, I don't care who I you died. argue with. We, we're here following people for 90 days. We don't give a shit who you, you guys are arguing. I don't care who you argue with. You don't come after followers, okay? I would have no reason to say okay, that look, if you look, didn't start this you with were spamming, me. You were spamming in YouTube. Look, yeah. Magical Bagels 01, another fake account. Listen, Dash Biatch, another one of her accounts. How many Ooh. more accounts are you going to listen to? I can't see them, so I don't know. Everything is, like, the chat is not, I can't see the chat. It's stuck. But anyway, look. Hi, look, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Why don't you use your full name or your real name? Ma Maria, Maria, let me ask you this. Is it a coincidence that literally hundreds of people have said similar things about your, um, your etiquette online? on Instagram and Facebook. I don't give a crap what people say about my etiquette and Facebook. I don't, or Instagram. I don't put up with bullies. I don't like it. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not running away. I'm not closing my account like they wanted to. It has to stop. Okay. It has to stop because this, this crap was dying down because she finally, there was nobody playing her game. She saw you harassing me and she jumped on your train and you Ooh. fell for it. Who? Amanda, Amanda, you fell, and Mofongo, you fell for it, and you started harassing me for no reason, okay? 
Um, for no yeah, reason. Look at the same accounts, go, writing the same thing over and over again. Do I, do I have to go back to this? Look, I saw you spamming in YouTube. Like, literally, you must have been on your computer, copy paste. Uh, yeah, 100,000 times. 100,000 times after every single meme you made of my, fa of that's my not, picture. That's not, that's not correct. Anyway, look. It's look, all. Be, look, I don't care anymore. No. Like, look, but I'm going to ask you. So, you, do you want to clear up this stuff about Danielle and the issue that happened with that? Do you do you want um do you want screenshots? Because for years Danielle and Beth have been harassing me, calling me a stalker. Um, if I was a stalker, why do I have screenshots of her telling me she's gonna be in Miami next weekend, and why don't I make a double day with myself and my husband, my husband and her and and Muhammad? Does that sound like a stalker? If if you got the screenshots, why don't you, you could actually put them up here on on the screen? I've. No, I, I have to go look through them. I don't have it here with me, but you can post well, it on yours. I'll send it to you. I have no problem. Send it to me. I'd, I'd love to because it, everybody's telling me the same thing. Because if I'm such a stalker, then why are we t making plans to for to go out when she gets here? huh? So, okay. And why would she tell everybody that I'm after Muhammad when she knows I'm married? Okay? Nobody likes Muhammad except Danielle. Okay? I'm not leaving my husband for a damn foreigner or for anybody. And he's my son's age. And this shit drags on for years and years and years. It's ridiculous. And then you post that I, that I, you posted that I pay for sex from cast members and I had that idiot that's following you make a comment that I was paying for sex from cast members. I don't even know the freaking cast members and I don't pay for sex. I'm a married woman. Would you like them, somebody to do that to your wife? So, why why are all these rumors circulating then i don't know whoever said that yates posted something about your wife i don't care about yates i'm talking about myself look look I'm these rumors are yates. circulating because okay i've seen you bashing beth do you do you think i care if you bash beth please bash her i couldn't care less because she spent her whole time saying that I, I'm on drugs, I've used oxycodone or some shit, I drink alcohol, I've never drank alcohol, I've never taken any type of medication, I've never been hooked on pills, Beth got fired way before she got, um, she was on 90 days, she lost her nursing license because she stole some medication, so how dare her, how dare her say that when I've never been arrested in my life, I've never been in trouble, I've never taken anything past the Tylenol. And to have to hear this shit every single season. I'm not going away. I'm not going away. And I'm not and I'm gonna keep blocking every single person who keeps harassing me. It's not fair and it's not right. And I used to be quiet uh, well, about it. Can, and can I'm I, not putting up okay, with it anymore. Can you, answer, can you answer this question? Why yes. why are all the rumors? circulating like that that you about muhammad about you trying to uh sleep with muhammad trying to steal muhammad why why was that circulating because we were friends until he came here when he came here she asked me if danielle asked me if i knew first she told me he was in miami and i said i had no idea because we me and muhammad talked on facebook like little like nothing and then I said, no, I assumed that he came with his girl, that, that friend that he used to have, Luisa. And then she said, do you know where he's at? And I said, no, I don't know. He's never, he hasn't messaged me or anything, so I have no idea. I didn't know he was even coming to Miami. And then she said, I'm going to Miami. Let's make plans. And she, all this is written. Let's make plans um, to go to lunch with your husband and we'll double date. And I said, okay. And then she asked me if she can look at, oh, Sandy, go away. If she can um, stay at my place. I said, no, I have three bedrooms and two children. I don't have a spare guest room. And I said, no, I'm not going to ask my husband anyways. So I said, no, I don't have enough room. And then because, just because I said no, she assumed that I was hiding him in my house. I'm not going to hide anybody in my house. Nobody's coming to my house. 
just because somebody says no. And then she turned on me because I said that. And she started spreading the rumor, the rumors that, uh, that I was having an affair with Muhammad. I even had one person message me, some guy in Canada or something I found out after, um, messaged me that he was coming to my house and he was going to slit my throat and watch me bleed to, ne to death in the front door of my house. Do you still have that screenshot? Of course I do. Okay. I never deleted it, and I so, and so I turned have, it into the have police. You all these screenshots of of Danielle offering a double date with you in Miami. Yeah, yeah, I okay. do. So, and so you, another thing is, another thing is, I'm going to let you know is that um, the only reason they really turned on me bad was because when she moved out, when when um when Muhammad moved out, she um he cut her cable. The cable was in his name. He took his name off of it and it cut her cable. Beth reconnected the cable without his permission. Her son made a good impersonation of Muhammad, the way he he sounds like him, and reconnected it. Because she was stupid enough to tell me. I told Muhammad, and he called the cable company and had it disconnected again. Because of that gesture of trying to be a decent person, because Beth said, oh, this is so funny. Um, by the time he finds out, um, he'll be in Tunisia because he's going to be deported. He doesn't need the credit. What kind of a person does that shit? So, so you're saying that um, Danielle's or Beth's son? Which one? Best son. So best son impersonated impersonated uh, Muhammad and reconnected the um, And the after that and after that I was labeled the stalker because that's what those two wanted people to believe and it's made my life a living hell. And then this this crazy person, Amanda, grabbed onto that shit. And has has dragged it on like if I'm we're harassing Amanda, I can you can talk to ten people who are going to tell you that's not true, okay? It's not true. You should be able to block people on IG and not having to worry about getting stopped um, by them. It's, it's just not right. Okay. Um. So ever since so ever since the incident with Danielle. And Muhammad, what what's gone on in your life? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I don't talk to Muhammad. I I he I follow him. We don't message back and forth. We weren't buddies. It was in her head. She thought that look, Maria is obsessed with Amanda. That must be an Amanda account. Who would be obsessed with Amanda? By the way, Amanda, your your um, seizures are fake. Uh, as they're as fake as you are now tell me this can you imagine going on a live and having a seizure every three or four minutes would you go on a live uh, every single time if you were having seizures I, I, you, you wouldn't do it look look Marie, you can't assume that you no assume i'm, that. A, I'm not really assuming it like i'm not no trust me there's nobody that's gonna do it she couldn't say three or four words and she would drop in a seizure with the lights off and make this weird noise and then come on. I never made fun of her. I even called 911. But this is bullshit. Okay? This is bullshit. She's playing this card and playing everybody for it. Okay? And then she writes there, oh, you're jealous. Jealous of what? Jealous of what? You tell me. Jealous of what? Then she tells you that I called CPS. I don't even know where she lives. I don't care where she lives. I don't want to see any kid hurt or anything, but I'm not going to save the world. It's freaking IG. So, okay. Why so would I call? Let her family question. worry about her. So if you, if you don't know where, where she lives, how did you call 911 and, and report that? I called 911 while, uh, while I was on the live with her. I told them her IG name. They were watching her on IG have this seizure with the lights off. And they said they couldn't do anything about it. They can't trace it on Instagram. If it was Facebook, they could have traced it. 
If it's Instagram, they can't. Okay. That's the only time I called 911. And then I told her after, I said, we tried calling 911. They didn't, they couldn't do anything for you. And you shouldn't be living, you shouldn't be there alone. By this time, we, we still didn't know, we still didn't know whether it was fake or not. It's just not real. I don't and care what anybody response. says. That's, it's not real. So we decided to block her. What's so bad about that? We didn't go over there and say, oh, you're lying. It's fake. So what about, what about Claudia? So you and Claudia are friends, right? Yes. She's the one that Amanda warned me about. Okay, um, so don't talk to Claudia. Don't, when we were the four of us in a group, don't talk to her. One day I was being like, I don't know. I just saw the name there and I messaged her. We started talking. I'm like, this woman is really nice. So then I said, Amanda, I didn't want to hide it from her. I said, I can be friends with two people. I, I messaged Claudia. She seems really nice. We're talking back and forth. No sooner than I did that. And that fake profile came and started messaging the four people online and saying, Oh my God, Amanda, you're such a, uh, a bad person. You're a bad friend. I saw that you, you messaged, you, you were writing comments on Lotus, Lotus, which is Claudia on her account. How dare you? Like, you're not a good friend. And then it started saying, Amanda's seizures aren't real. Amanda, I'm gonna, I hope she dies of a seizure. I hope she falls on her son. Who would write something like that? I wouldn't wish death on my worst enemy. Um, I've seen some of the messages you've wrote. They're pretty fucked up, but like, you know. It's just to fake thing. profiles, not to Amanda. To fake every single time I was on IG, I would get, look at that. Claudia is a nasty C. That's Amanda. Every single time I was on IG, you should see my block list. I can't, and I, then, can't I can't, the, like I said, the chat is, I can't see it. I never, block. listen, I never ever unblocked Amanda's account. Once okay. I blocked Amanda's account, every single but, account, Maria, how, every like, single fake account it, came you're out. You're making it sound like, like every other account that's chatting, which I can't see, by the way, is Amanda. How could that be possible? I'm not saying every other account. I'm saying she created so many accounts. When I would block one, the next one would come. And when you saw that note, that that um, message that I wrote, I wrote it to one of those fake accounts, the, to that same fake account who threatened to um, post my address, to post my thing, they they to post my job. They said, "Oh, um, it's time to call your job again." It's they did call the job twice. They called my daughter's job once. So let me and yeah, ask, I'm not going to be did, nice did, to them. Did you lose a job before because of an issue online? I, I lost my job because Danielle posted my job on her stupid Facebook group with my phone number of the company. The phone number that she had because we were friends. Okay? And everybody called the job. Every single buddy, okay, and trust me, she the on not she, the only person who had that number was Danielle. Hmm. So you you are claiming that you never had inappropriate conversations with Muhammad, ever? Absolutely never. He's exactly the same age as my son exact same age as my son. I've been married for 35 years. Danielle thinks he was a gem. Like she thought he was the king of whatever. Like every woman was after Muhammad. Have you seen him? I mean, personally, I, I don't think he's a handsome looking guy, but that's my opinion, you know. Um, so did you ever meet him in person? I met him when he came to Miami when I saw Danielle, the day I met both of them. And I was contacted by TLC, and I said, I want to take my husband there and show everybody that I'm married because the harassment was incredible. And what did she do? She ran like a crazy woman down Miami Beach at 1030 at night on a Tuesday night, 
screaming at the top of her lung of her lungs with in an apartment thing because she saw Maria Vega there. Well, then she shouldn't have have put on her group that I was having an affair and and causing all that shit for me. She's gonna do that and lie to her followers. I'm gonna show her my husband. So and that's that why she hates me because I don't back out, man. If I'm right, I'm right. I'm not gonna back out. If you're gonna lie about me, I'm not backing out. Every time Beth says that I'm on, that I take Xanax or whatever, prove it. Prove it. If she says I drink, prove it. I don't have a record. I've never been arrested. She can't say the same shit. She's been arrested twice for the or fired twice for drugs. The only reason I posted her her nursing license, which I didn't know even it was given to me. I wouldn't know how to find it was because she lost her license two years before she even the show even aired. And then she went on there saying that um, she lost her nursing job because I because I had reported her to her job. She had no job. I was I didn't report her to anything because she had no job. I'm not going to put up with people lying. Everything I I say I have with proof. I'm not gonna lie. So you so, have, but you I'm have sure screenshots of all this, and you're gonna send it to me. Yes, I don't care. I you I even have a voice message. You want to post a whole message? Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'm I'll, not I'll lying. Post it. I don't care. You just send it to me. This yeah, I'll send it ago? to you. Yeah, it's on my Facebook. I can get it. Say on the on uh, a um, voice message of. Muhammad saying that he um that Danielle and Beth did that shit. Did what? And she that that they um just they connected the cable without his permission. And I had posted that shit one time and she said that Beth said it was spliced. There's not one nothing. That shit's not spliced. There's no stopping of the beat or anything. It's continuous talking. Okay. But I'm tired of this shit. You shouldn't post things about people. You shouldn't make, you know, I even heard that you're doxing people. Like, if they're followers of John Yates, you're a blogger. Why would you even do that? I just don't understand. Like, you're married. You have a daughter. Why would you do that to other people? Doxing like, this is who? IG. Doxing who? You're, you're, I've, I've seen pictures. You put shit in your, in your, in your stories of other women that are friends of John Yates or something. Like, it's huh? wrong. Um, that's reposting, but I take all the perfect even if it's reposting. So, it, because somebody posts Elena, oh, give me a break. She's like the most hated cast member there is. So, because she posts all that crap, you're gonna do that? Um, Seriously, how would you feel? Mar Honestly, Maria, how how hold, would hold you on. feel if you did Maria, that? Maria, stop. Okay, look, oh. let me let me tell you something. You you said you didn't want to go into John Yates right now, right? I'm not going into it. I'm well, saying that now, no, because I'm realm, saying that John people Yates no. Toxic as fuck. Okay. No, so, I'm not talking about him. I'm saying that well, you're posting on him, people man. following him. No, don't post on followers. Him, leave, not leave followers alone. Him. The inner circle, his his little group of whatever hags you want to call, uh, they're they're extremely toxic. Um. And they, so what? If they're toxic, why why do you bother with them? Why don't you just ignore let it? Me, let me finish, all right? Um, and they've doxed hundreds of people uh, and ruined people's lives. So, so it's okay for you to do it? I'm I'm not doing it. Am I doing it? You're just yeah. You're posting it. I repost it. I repost. Sandy, it you're like a hundred years I'm old. So it. shut up. Not everything. I, I reposted a couple, but look, um, a, a, a couple, a couple is a couple too much. You know, everybody knows your identity. Everybody knows your family. So you're gonna cry like, oh, they're doxing me when people do it to you. Do you? Would you? Uh, do you really want to give your wife look, that headache? Mar Maria, it's not look, worth it. Maria, you some some people. Uh, need a little bit of little bit of a punch in the gut, all right. I'll be honest with you. To to have and you and are you got to do that? Human again, all right. And you know, um, I don't know what these people thought they were doing by engaging in in this activity, 
and literally ruining people's lives and having targeted harassment um, on, you know, on their families. It's terrible. Now, a little bit of a punch back. You're saying that's bad? Um, I'm not targeting, harassing anybody, and you okay, threw quite well, a punch look, at me. Every, everybody that's been that's been doxxed by John Yates and his group have been harassed. They've been, they've been threatened with CPS. They've had CPS called on them. They've had police called on them. They've I had, don't care. Had, I'm not. Hold that's, on. I'm not. Maria, stop interjecting. I'm trying to finish here. They've had, I'm not Yates. I'm Maria. Uh, I'm not Yates. Okay, I'm Maria. You, 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 you wandered into that realm. So that's why we're getting into Yates now. So you want you want to get get out of that? Because I'm not talking about him. I told you that. That's a whole other conversation for another day. So, no, these fo these aren't followers. These are people. These are enablers. You know, and, and you know, if I if I post a repost a couple, um, look, they're they've they've enabled and allowed this stuff to go on, and allowed uh, people to get plastered. Uh, their whole families, their information is plastered to 60, 70,000 people over the course of years, okay? Oh, um, and you're a guy here to save Yates, or are you here just because if you knock one blogger out, you are you have more people to follow you? Why don't you just get your own followers? Like, why do you have to knock um, a blogger down? Maria, I'm not, I'm not knocking another blogger down. Like, okay. who cares if... Make yourself look better. If you, if somebody, if somebody's doxing a blogger is doxing, if you think he's blog uh, doxing, Maria, why do, do you have to you, do it too? Okay, you, you do realize that this came about because of the whole Devin thing. Well, first I went against the tide with the Larissa thing. Uh, that that kind of led to some issues, and then the Devin thing led to some a whole other set of issues. And um, I guess I don't know what John was thinking, but he felt. Uh, he must have felt uh, backed into a wall and decided, okay, let's go ahead and post this guy's shit on, online to all my followers. I don't care about John. I'm, I'm me. You, you came after me. You came after uh, me. Again, Maria, can I, do I have to repeat this? I saw no, you. No, uh, this conversation is not about him. It's about me. Okay. You were just talking about John Yates. What are you talking about? And his followers. I'm not talking about him. I told you that already. I'm not talking about him. I don't care about did, him. Did I, did I, I care you? about did why you would go after me. Maria, Maria, did I dox you? No, you didn't. You made a whole bunch of nasty memes about me. And you said it, you wrote a whole bunch of nasty shit on it. I didn't. That was my followers. Whoever did it, you posted it. Uh, you do you do realize that I've <laughs> that, um, okay. So when I posted that, I had literally hundreds that I had to sort through because a lot of people know about you. I don't care. Like if a million people know about me, I'm not going away. I'm going to defend myself every single time. If you say something about me, like your first thing that you said there that they told me don't go on is you're like she brought somebody to the to um. Look at this. This is the guy, Lack, whatever it is, L A C O A J. Why, that he why, why writes on. So he writes on a comment. Oh, are you the one that pays for sex? Because you said it. Like your stupidity brought this stupid guy who has no mentality to think that I I pay cast members for sex because of something that you write that's so irresponsible. Okay, uh, that's not oh, right. Okay, so uh, according to that. Um, that was coming from somebody with close ties to TLC. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say names. But of yeah. course it was coming from somebody with close ties. That's what you're gonna say. Show me proof. Show me something. You just can't go around ruining people's lives because you got idiots like this guy who believe everything that you say. And then he'll come after me. He sees me commenting on, on Sherelle's post or something. And then says, so why, oh, why you, you're the one that pays for sex. Maria, what Maria, the fuck is that? Why, what is that? Maria, why are you masquerading around all these different bloggers and just shit talking me? <laughs> what different bloggers, Sherelle? Because that's the only one I was in. No. I'm done with it. Uh, I'll, I'll be, yeah, I'll you're be done with it. 
I'm, all I'm saying is before you decide to ruin somebody's life, before you decide to post crap about somebody, get your information right. The only thing I told you that on, in messages was when you said forward this message and I didn't and you called me a, the C word. You don't even know me. Why would you call me the C word? Are you okay with a man calling your wife that? Let's do this. Let, let's agree to something here. Let's, um, let's continue chatting. I want to see every, all the proof that you have about Danielle, about the, the voice message, everything that you have, I want you to send to me. Okay. And I, I'll I send it to you. you I'll, I'll, po I'll post this stuff. So everybody could. See I it. want you to post it. I want people to stop thinking that I'm harassing her. She's been blocked for years. I couldn't give a crap. I have, I mean, come on. Anybody with common sense is Danielle a Kardashian or something? Who would who would um no da stop Danielle, Danielle for Danielle, years? Danielle is the OG queen of ninety day fiance though. I don't know one person that would stalk her. I don't know one person that would stalk Danielle. I just don't know it. Like it doesn't exist. If anybody with common sense would say why? Why would somebody stalk her? Like what what exactly is there to stock? Like, really, what is there to stock? Nobody ever thinks of that. They're like, oh, Danielle says she's her stalker. And she's, she loves the attention. She's like, she, I'm, with, this is, um, I'm not going to read the comments because she loves the attention because, somebody, because you guys are paying attention to her. Oh, I'm my stalker from Florida. What stalker, Danielle? What stalker? There is no stalker in Florida. There's no stalker in any state in the United States of America. The only stalker she's getting are the ones from foreign countries who want a green card. Nobody cares. But I'm damn sure not going to allow her to keep saying that I'm her stalker. When, when I have all the proof in the world, I have her messages. I have her phone messages. She had my number. I had hers. That's not, you don't, mm -hmm. go ahead. After that incident in Miami, you had her blocked or did, did, did she still try to contact you or what happened after that? After that incident in Miami, she flew back like within two days to Ohio. I was at work. She sent me, she had my phone number. This is how backwards wherever she lives is. She has, I still have all that shit. She sent me one message. She texted me a, a message. And she said that she was going to contact my family. And I replied to her, you contact my fat, you harass my family and I'm going to post your messages. She went with that reply back, just that reply. And she walked into the Ohio police station and said that I was stalking her and they just filled out a report. And you know what they do in Ohio when you fill out a report? They post it online. So they posted my name and my phone number online and then she went and grabbed that report and posted it in her facebook group and see see maria's a stalker i put i made a report on her i spent two days talking to the police in ohio to have that shit reversed i sent them a copy of the text it was one text she sent me one message and i replied one time that's not stalking when somebody sends you a message you reply Okay, and then because my my thing was already there in the in the online, they put an amendment and they put Maria says she only replied once and showed evidence or some shit like that. But what does Danielle do? She got the police report, the first page, not the amended, and then she hands it to Leda. Leda. Hey, look, be careful with Maria. And then every season she sends, she calls every, she messages every single cast member and says, Maria's a stalker. Be careful with Maria. If you look at the cast members, when I have a Facebook group, if you see the cast members on uh, here on Instagram, I reply on the ones that I like. And I say, oh, the cute picture, nice picture. Congratulations. I don't like Ed. I don't comment on Ed's posts. That's not a stalker. Leaving a, a comment saying that you look pretty, that you look nice, that I like your dress, that I like you. That's not stalking. Wait, hold on. Like you were stalking me, Maria, because I called you for trolling on a post with your lies. How would I stalk you, guy? Like seriously, like you're the one that told that was that was saying that I paid for sex. You're such. You're even crazier if you even believe shit like that. 
This is that guy. This is what I'm telling you. People like that, you write something on your, because you're a, a blogger, you write something, and they believe God wrote it, and it has to be true if you wrote it, okay? So please think about it before you write something like right, that. Look, look Maria, um, I, want, I want you to start sending me everything tonight. Okay, that you have, and I and I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start posting online. Is that fair? Yeah, please post post away, post everything. Why does Maria get involved with these cast members? I'm not getting involved with it. Are it was Danielle. In cast members or just just uh, Muhammad? That season, it was Danielle and Muhammad. I talked to Danielle. Yeah, but I after think that I. Season. No. So you didn't I mean, any I've, other cast members? I, no, I taught, yeah, I have cast members in my Facebook group that that write comments and leave messages and send me messages. I've yeah, talked to John. John who? I've talked to Evelyn. John Walters, is it? Evelyn. Um, Lay, not Leda. Um, Larissa. I've talked to Paul. I've talked to Corrine. I've talked to, they are all. At one point or other, every single one has been in the group. I've have cast members in there from season one, and they've been in there because nobody gets harassed. If somebody harasses one of the cast members, they tell me delete that com, delete that post. I don't want that post there. I take it away. I delete it. What's the big deal? That's not stalking. I don't go. Oh, can I be your bestie? Can I have your phone number? They're in the group, and they do whatever they want. And if something bothers them, I delete it. <clears throat> okay, so you're a moderator in, in a Facebook group. Yeah, I'm an administrator in the group. It's my group. I see. Hold on. Did you have any plans on meeting up with any other male cast members? Did I what? Have any plans to meet up with any other male cast members or female cast members? Never. Never. There's even cast members living in Florida. I would never even say, hey, where do you live? Can we meet each other? No. I wouldn't have even, ha I wouldn't have even met up with Danielle had she not even was the one who said, oh, let's go out to dinner or whatever. And then was the one who started saying the rumor that he's in Miami because I'm hiding him in my house. That's the only reason I met up. Okay. Um, it's getting... Uh... I'm getting a bunch of messages here, so let, let me get off this this live here. But uh, let let's continue this conversation outside of here. I want you to send me everything that you just discussed with me, and I'm gonna post. It. Okay. I don't care. Okay. Oh, I hope so. Deal. It's a deal. All right. Thanks, Maria. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye.